Welcome to WordPress Guide for Beginners Step by Step Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a website in simple steps. Benefits of making your own WordPress website Save a ton of time and money. It will try you to follow the market trends. You can stay ahead of your competitors. You will be able to build most things yourself. Reasons to choose WordPress it is the most user CMS on internet. It is an open source platform. It is free, an ultimate DIY website builder, fast optimizer and secure core software. Audited regularly by hundreds of developers. Extremely SEO friendly. How to choose a domain name? Go to my site, select upgrades and select domains. On wordpress.com, you can register a custom domain, for example, your xyzsite.com and use it instead of your site's current address such as your xyzsite.wordpress.com as your subdomain. How to configure your wordpress theme? There are two parts to every wordpress.com site. Number 1. Content. The content on your site is made up of pages, posts and media. You can add or edit pages and posts by going to my sites, select posts or pages. You will make changes using the blog editor. Number 2. Customization. You can make site-wide changes such as editing menus, adjusting colors, adding widgets and more. 
return from the customers. You can get to the customer set by going to my sites, select appearance, then select customize. How to install a WordPress theme? Go to my sites, select appearance and then select themes. You can change themes as many times as you like. Changing themes affects the look and feel of your site but won't delete your content. So as we seen in the last video how to install a theme after selecting the themes from the settings uh, we will come to the page uh, for picking the font which font uh, as we like as you like which font uh, multiple fonts are there so then continue and uh, next uh, features we have to select uh, for such as custom domains uh, plugins etc so most of the features are uh, provided in the premium plans so we have to go with the free plan so we select the free plan you can see the premium plan store so we have selected the free plan uh, now the designs are getting applied and automatically applied so it's loading So we are waiting for the design applied. Yeah, that uh, come. Uh, so we have got the template here. So this is the theme you have selected. So. There are uh, preview options after selecting. So we have arrived at the home page as default. It is not published yet. So after making its designs uh, changes, we can uh, publish it. So we can see all the settings on the right side here. The store permalink or featured image, accept, etc. So we can, uh, this is the cover image. So we can write uh, title there as. Uh, just like my food blog yeah we can uh, adjust to whatever it whether do you want for a board and its alignment or anything else whether you want to change the color of the title or make it uh, as you like from the custom color Also, we can see the typography or uh, which uh, custom size or which font as uh, you like. So, we select uh, the custom size for 40. Okay, 40 is okay. This is just an example of uh, a block uh, I am showing here as a food block.
See in this blog I have used I free comments for from the WordPress itself. So you can uh, select a custom command where so it will be unique and uh, you can show it off your friends and share it on social medias. So just to use you can start with the free domain and later add a custom domain. So you can uh, make it uh, whatever you like uh, just you can uh, customize all those things like uh, font color or it's uh, typography alignment everything According to the cover image, we have to select a good uh, appropriate uh, font color so it will be matching. So moving uh, down now uh, we can see the social media patterns etc. If you wanted to, to add uh, only one or two you can remove it or keep it so whatever we want to uh, make uh, changes or its alignment all the settings are here only So on the right block settings uh, and page settings we can see after whatever we selected on the block yeah, the settings will reflect on the itself. So uh, after making every changes we have to up, uh, go up and update it so that the changes will come alive. So we can also preview it, so it will be like this. So after making every changes, we have to go up and uh, click on the update button. We can also click on the right corner visit site red button. So it will be going to the new page and see the updates. So still now we have not launch, launched the site. So after making the site uh, up to date, so we can launch the site entirely. So as we seen in the last video, how to install a theme. Uh, after selecting the themes from the settings, uh, we will come to the page uh, for picking the font which font uh, as we like go to my site select pages then select add new page this makes the blog editor open now you can see the pre-designed templates upon clicking on create a new page either you can select from them or start with a blank page on the right side corner settings from here you can hear the status add categories and set a feature image and much more before publishing. In the blog editor you will be creating pages and posts. You can add more blogs by clicking on the plus icon. There are multiple ways to add a blog and post of the blog type unit. In this video I am showing you how to create a page. So first uh, as we seen in the last video how to create a page so the detailed video in this uh, i am going to show you how to create the exact way of creating a page first uh,
in the page uh, first we have to give a title the h1 section we we have here given cooking tips as the h1 of the page then in the left side we have the plus icon we can see the uh, blocks we can add so here i am checking with the block in the column section i have uh, added with the one column so the page title is we have given cooking tips so we have h2 section we are giving it is how to make a butter cookies this this title as the h2 section so yeah actually the title should be in h1 section but we have given it uh, whatever you like so here sometimes uh, the pages uh, the page that will be in default and some other themes so based on the SEO priority you can give the so we uh, let me add uh, I'm adding the content uh, just trying out with the paragraph section uh, hello everyone here's the most of it uh, recipe on how to make a better we just starting with this just added the sentence i have added the sentence uh, now we can add more images cover images as we seen in the installation theme uh, just like that uh, yeah in the type of uh, type uh, where we can see the settings for this block for this respective block we can uh, change the typography and color settings for the background and yeah, the background I have change I'm um, changing this to white or another color we can change so I'm see, showing this uh, preview we can see the preview just like this so uh, adding more means you will get the more uh, designs uh, extra of images so this is a blank page i am created with uh, this this is a page started from scratch so previously we have uh, in the theme installation it was auto imported from the theme demo imported as so here in this uh, video uh, this is a page uh, started from scratch okay how to add a new post go to my site select post then select new post now the block editor will open and you will see a plus icon click on the icon to insert blocks or patterns how to add a new post How to create a menu? Go to my site, select appearance, then select menu. Now in the primary, create a home page, then select and add similar items such as about and contact pages. Set home as the front page of your website. How WordPress customization. The customizer is where you can adjust various things like background color, menu, site name, etc. Check first with the site name you can set the name or even hide it by uploading a logo. The color option may give you the chance to change the color on fonts and heading and for the site background. Go to my site, select the appearance, then select customize. The customizer dashboard will open and you can see sites, identity colors and backgrounds. Widgets, home page settings, and additional CSS can be accessed via the box icon in the top left corner of your customizer.
You can schedule a date for your customizations to go live once you save the draft. Additional menu options may also be displayed depending on which theme you are using. At the bottom of the customizer menu, you can hide or view your site in a desktop, tablet or mobile mode. You can either choose to display the site title or the site logo. Add site icons to appear in the browser tabs, bookmark bars and within the WordPress. The customizer allows you to preview your site blog as it would appear on a tablet or mobile device. The customizer also allows an administrator to create changes and save them as drafts. This will let you publish the changes to your live site if you are hosting the site. Users will see a gear icon next to the public spot in your visitors when you make changes to your site's customizer settings. Users will not see these icons. Users will not see these icons only appear to the site owners or administrators save changes. This is chosen by default. Selecting this will let you publish changes to live sites. This option will change the save changes button to save draft button. You can choose to publish the changes live at your date and time of your choice. Share preview link once the customizer is saved as a draft or a preview of the changes can be shared with the collaborators. By sharing the link at the bottom of the action panel next in the colors and background, you can change the background color of the site. Different themes have different color options. Some have a very basic option of changing the primary color while others provide more extensive color palettes. You can also change the color settings of different blocks within the block. So even if your theme doesn't have a color and background section, you can add color to your pages and posts. Font styles can be changed to different font faces, weight and size. Changes to the font face and size of the base font can be changed now in the menu section. The customizer option is used for managing navigation menus for content you have already published on your site. For example, if a responder prefers to use a different font than the ones used in the body of your site, this can be controlled by going to primary and making the menu location change. If you have created a new page or poster and it is not showing up in your navigation menu, then go to appearance and select customize select menus. You may add pages, posts or categories in the menu for existing content such as pages, posts, categories, tags, formats by adding an obligation menu widget. From here you can add new pages or posts to the home page settings menu. You can change what we still see when they first access your site. Some themes display categories on the blog page, some display them only on the single post page. If you do not want to have a blog page, select your home page from the list of pages you created through my site. You can set your site private and still publish your page without worry that people will see your site and the page just publisher widgets. Some themes have multiple widgets while others just offer sidebar of section. You can add multiple widgets in the footer tabs. You may choose to display the future damages on top of every page and then save the changes you made. Some themes include the content options menu. These are some of the common choices found in content options. However, they can differ from theme to theme depending on who has this feature image display for example some themes only support specific content options settings for example grid based themes that don't display the full post on the blog page like cubic and don't include the blog displays action you can up to display your bio on a single post on the single post view on supported themes the post date section allows you to show or hide the post date categories tags. Post details decide what specific details about the post to display such as tweet categories tags or the some themes only display some of these elements either on single post or the blog page feature images. 
You can choose whether or not to display featured images on single posts and pages. You can also opt to display a featured image on blog archive pages. If you choose to hide the featured image, it will still be used as the sharing thumbnail on a social media sites. Maintaining a featured image for a post will override any automatically added images. If you manually select the first image in your post or gallery, it will only display as a magnificent image. Custom CSS can be added to sites with the WordPress premium plans. Under the menu, you can make subpages using drag and drop additional CSS. Additional CSS stands for cascading style sheets. It is a markup language that controls the appearance of HTML elements on a web page. Click on the add. Configure your WordPress settings. Go to settings and select general. Here in the general tab, you can give your site title that means your website name and tagline if needed. Next on the right tab, you can see categories and tabs. When you scroll down, you will come to see the default post format. You can change it if you want and when you go on to the content types, you can adjust the blog post per page display. So the change is after you make it. Next, go on to the discussion tab and you can see some settings over there. You may change article settings and comments too. Ok, in the WordPress configuration settings, uh, we can go to settings then select general. Uh, can we can see the general section there are site titles and uh, in the performance section or uh, next to writing section you can see the categories uh, for uh, articles or blogs yeah you can uh, we can set the blog post uh, number of blog posts to be displayed uh, per page and uh, also the scroll setting and uh, default post format make it as standard or not yeah then save the settings now going to the discussion settings uh, we can see the default article settings whether the people need to post comments or not uh, you can uh, turn it or not also we'll get uh, email notifications whenever a uh, visitor comments you can also turn it on or not now these are all the essential settings uh, coming in the general settings or for WordPress configuration now what we are going to do is to launch the site select the free address in the free plan now it is getting ready to publish click on visit site to be the live site 